Um, I guess the, the first question would be, how did you get involved with the show? Uh, uh, I got involved with Crossing Lines last, I think it was August. Probably early August last year, my my manager called me and said, "I've I, there's a series that I want you to read that uh, this gentleman named Ed Brunero created and uh, would love you to read this, would love to have a conversation with you about it. And he said, oh, by the way, it, 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 it shoots in Prague. And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, that's not like a, a, a small bus commute. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, like all things, it, it begins, you know, with a script and usually those first couple of episodes, uh, you know, are great. They've got to be great. So what, it was what he's selling the show on. And and, uh, and I was not disappointed when I read them. Not only did I like the story, but I thought that the character of, of, of Hickman, the guy that I play in the series, uh, was really layered and well thought out. And he obviously, you know, had really had his uh, finger on the heartbeat of who this guy was. So I, you know, read the scripts, talked to, talked to Ed couple of times never met him yet just talked to him on the phone and and uh, but the big decision was you know looking at my wife and saying listen I'm I'm not commuting you know halfway around the world um, if, if I'm doing this we're all doing it and so uh, we did every we all moved to Prague Wow. Yeah. Um, now I saw this on the internet so it could be a total lie but is it true that you studied criminal justice before I did. I have a, a, four years I went to college, a criminal justice major. Did um, that have any, any bearing on drawing you to the role? No, you know, not really, because, you know, the college is, you know, to study something like criminal justice in college or political science, you know, it's, you know, you're finding out the theoretical aspects of, of, of what that is. I, I don't think you really get into nuts and bolts of, of police sort of work until uh, you may learn basic things about it and fingerprint stuff but you know if you decide to join a police department or get accepted or that and you go to a police academy I think that's where you really get into the stuff that has to do with you know the things that we play as actors um, but no I mean there's just you know there's probably more cop shows than anything in the world and I've certainly played my share of cops uh, but did it have anything to do with it no I mean I look back on college now and I don't think about my college classes I I think about what a great time I had. Um, how can we expect um, Hickman's role to develop throughout the series? Well, it'll be interesting. I mean, it was a, it was a, 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 quite an arc last year, just in you know in the first ten episodes. Um, uh, you know, he's a guy that's you know really kind of lost his uh, his job, his career in New York because of an injury, and really couldn't perform it, and was let go and. And more than just a job, I think he, you know, really lost a sense of identity and self. And Lewis, uh, in the show here, our French major, um, is giving him the opportunity to, as he says, you want to feel like a cop again. And uh, clearly Hickman does. And, you know, it's what he does well. Uh, so, you know, it develops. He, you know, it's not like he doesn't make mistakes. And I love that about it. You know, I don't love, uh, I don't believe people that don't uh, falter. So Ed's, you know, really wrote, like, a, as I said, you know, a character that, you know, makes mistakes. He's a little fractured. He, he slips. Um, with his attention to detail and reliance on pills, com some comparisons could be drawn to um, Mahone. I was just wondering about your thoughts on, on that comparison. Yeah, you know, I, I'm sure they, they both had a similar thing uh, why they have their little substance abuse problem is actually for different reasons um, uh, but also too you know they were officers in completely sort of police departments so even though yes the cop substance abuse thing but they're you know I, it never crossed my mind because I I just always saw them from the first time that I read each of the scripts um, just completely different I, I I never thought, wow, this is very Mahone-like. I just, it, it honestly never really crossed my mind. I, I loved, I love Prison Break. Yeah, cool. And I, I, I love, I love Mahone within, within Prison Break. Yeah, Although I did too. I'm not sure I'll ever forgive you for what you did to Haywire. You know, that is just like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, that was, that was, that was just, that was gut-wrenching, that was. That was a little rough, wasn't it? I don't um, know. And you, you've had 
you've got quite a very eclectic resume. I mean, do you do you atten- intentionally seek out roles that are are different from like different genres? Obviously, some some actors stick to one niche, whereas you sort of like go across all all different borders. Well, you know, and I'd like to even more. Um, I I don't want to play the same thing. I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, it's not that I don't like me, but I don't really want to play me. Um, I like to try to find somebody, you know. Listen, we all are who we are, and you know, this is the vessel and body that I use to play anybody. But but you want to find the other things that make up somebody that makes them different, you know. Um, that's I think that's the actor's journey, and I like to go different places, you know. I, I've had more than a few times in my life where I've gotten a script from. From an agent where they said, uh, "Hey, check out this role," and then I read it, and then there's another role. You know, the guy that's you know has the dress on, and I'm like, "That's really cool," and I want to. So you know, that's something that you know, I, it's choices. Is you know? there any any genre that you haven't done yet that you particularly want to do? Um, you know, uh, oh, I don't know, and we'll see what just comes down. The Back to crossing lines. Obviously, your character Hickman has a has a disability. Obviously, with his hand. Um, how was it acting with the with the glove? I, you know, it's 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 the glove thing is is, is only a matter of putting a glove on. Uh, you know, occasionally we've we've shot a couple of scenes where the glove is off and you see the damage to his hand and that. Um, but uh, uh, once you slide the glove on, it's you know it's it's a reminder of me that he he doesn't have the use of his right arm. But what's more important about that is, is that, you know, it's the right hand that changed the guy's life. So just every time you slide the glove on, you're aware of the fact that he, I'm sure, feels like he's not all the man that he once was. And that's the more important thing, that psychological and emotional impact that something like that is, you know, brought to this guy. Um, and how did you get on with the, the rest of the cast? I mean, obviously you're making a second series together, so that must that must speak for something to do with how you all guys got on. Yeah, you know, um, uh, it's not much different than anything else, even though we're all from different countries and that. The bottom line is, you know, you're making a television show and it's tough to do and there's, you know, not enough hours in the day and you have eight or nine days to shoot 56 pages and you're going to do it. And, you know, we got a good group. We got a good group that's you know very committed, and that's the bottom line. You, you need a great crew and and actors that care about their parts because if you don't care about it, then don't be on the show. You know, it's we just you know you want to make something good. You know, I don't do this stuff for a paycheck. Not that I don't like getting paid, but I want you know I want it to be good. Um, out of obviously all the characters that you played, are there any that stick out more than more than others for you? Um, in television or? In, in everything that you've done, are there any roles that you sort of stand out to you as being more enjoyable than others? You know, I honestly say that there's, you know, it would be tough to narrow it down because there are a lot of things that I've, you know, there are times that, that I don't do things because I don't really believe in it. And usually when I want to do something, it's not usually like, like most times, all times probably. It's because I want to do something. So I have a lot of great memories for a lot of things because I, you know, I'm committed and really want to play, want to play that part. But there are some, there's some true highlights along the way for different reasons. You know, Black Hawk Down is a big one, the Ridley Scott film. I met uh, two of my best friends doing that, you know, which is pretty odd, you know, in, in you know, your early mid forties to meet like, you know, two of your best friends for the rest of your life, you know, doing one movie. and. So that's Black Hawk is uh, will stand out, and there, there's a lot, you know. I've, where's the wood? Knock on the wood, you know. I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of good fortune.